Okay, we're on page seven of the sets and probability uh, problem set. Um, we're going to start with A. Let's see, we are going to use set notation to try to describe this orange region here. Um, so it's like this Pac-Man shape here. Um, what this looks like to me is, uh, it looks like C, right? And then it's got like a little shape cut out of it, this shape here. It's got this shape cut out. So how would we describe that? Um, how about if we cross, okay, we're going to like, we're going to take two shapes and we're going to kind of um, intersect them. What if we intersect the circle at the bottom? which is C, and we're going to intersect it with the fish at the top. If we intersect, and not the fish at the top, but the opposite of the fish, it's like everything except for the fish, and we're going to, we're going to, um, we're going to intersect that with the circle. If we intersect everything outside the fish and the circle, we're going to get that shape there. Okay, um, so let's see. So we're going to intersect the fish with the circle C. Well, circle C is easy. Circle C is just C. Now, how do we make the out, everything outside of the fish? Everything outside of the fish. If we make everything outside of the fish, the first best thing to do is say, hey, not the fish. Okay? But what about the fish? How do we make the fish? That's easy. A intersect B. Right? A intersect B is the fish. So we could say A intersect B not intersect with C. Okay? So A intersect B not is this yellow area here. And then if we intersect it with C, that will give you um, exactly the Pac-Man shape. Okay? All right. That's A. Now we're going to do C. It looks like we could do something similar. Now it looks like, okay, if we want to uh, get this um, shape of C, we would take um, C, okay, and we would uh, intersect it with everything except the two circles at the top. So we would want something that's everything except for the two circles at the top, and we're going to intersect it with C. Okay, and then that would give us a shape like this. Okay, um, so what is that equal to? Well, if it was if we wanted the part that's inside these two circles, it would of course be a union B. If we want whatever whatever is outside of that, then we would just do complement. Okay, what about circle C? What is that? Well, it's to C. So we want to intersect these two. We want to intersect a union B complement intersect C. Okay, so that is C. Now we're going to do E. Now for E, I think we probably need to combine three shapes. One of the shapes would of course be uh, the set B because that's exactly set B right there, right? So we do want to set B uh, and then we want to combine that with this, this uh, you know, cut out C shape. So if we can get this shape, cut out C, uh, then we could just combine. We could just do a union with B, and then it would be exactly what we have here. How could we get the C with its cut out? Well, um, we could combine. We could uh, take an intersection of a regular set C with, uh, how about a not A, not A. So not A would be like that, C would be like that. Now if we intersected these two, then that would give us this cookie shape, okay, bitten cookie shape. So uh, let's see, so it would be um, a intersect, no, it's not A, intersect with C, 
and that gives us the cookie shape. And then we are going to union that with B. Okay? All right. Now we're looking at G, and uh, this shape looks familiar. That looks the same as C. Okay, so how did we do C? We did C by uh, unioning A and B, doing a complement, and then we intersect it with C. So we're going to do the same thing. We're going to do the same thing. We're going to do the same thing. So we're just going to put uh, the same. Um, we're going to do the same thing here, except for instead of uh, instead of C, now we want to intersect it with A, and instead of A union B, now we're going to do B union C. Okay. So B union C, B union C um, is this area here, right? These two. And then um, not complement of that would be everything outside, right? And then if we intersect that with A, then we can see that um, the part with red and green would be would be this part, right? So that's what we want, okay? So we used the answer from the one above to help us with that. Uh, page 8. Now we're just doing I. Um, now this is, again, it's the same thing as that one, except now it's C. And this one, A, B, and C, ah, there it is again. C looks the same as I, doesn't it? C looks the same as I, yeah. Those look the same to me. Okay, so whatever your answer is for C, you put that for I. Okay. All right, now number three. In this Venn diagram, um, U is equal to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Okay. Um, yeah, so we see here. We see 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Okay. List the elements of uh, A intersect B intersect C. And we're just going to do A, C, E, G again. Okay. So the intersection of A, B, and C uh, we would have just this little triangle here. So it would be 1. Uh, intersection of A and B naught and C, let's see what that would be. Let's erase all this. Let's see. Uh, A intersect with B naught. So that would be A intersected with B naught. B naught would be everything outside this circle. Right? Everything outside of B. Intersect with C. C would be here. Okay? So we're intersecting all three of these. Where do I have red crosshatch, blue crosshatch, and green? That would be only we would only have that, um, let's see, blue, red, and green is right there. So what's in there? Uh, it looks like there's only a four. Okay, so it would be four. Okay, let's erase this just to make sure. Yeah, it was four. Okay, now we're going to do um, not A, intersect with not B, intersect with C. So C would be here um, not a would be everything outside of here and not and um, not B would be everything outside of outside of here.
Okay, now what has red cross hatches, orange cross hatches, and blue cross hatches? So looks like this region really does. And what about this region with one and three? Looks like it has orange, but it doesn't have blue, so not that region. What about this region that has four? Looks like it's got red, looks like it's got blue, doesn't have orange. So what we're left with is just this shape here. So what's in there? Well, we're going to have to erase it just to see what's in here. Seven. Is that the only thing in there? Seven. Okay, now, last one. Um, a, intersect not B, intersect not C. So let's see, A would be inside this circle. Um, not B would be everything outside of this circle. And not C would be everything outside this circle. Not C would be everything outside this circle. Not C. Okay, so now let's see. Um, what has what has blue cross hatches, red cross hatches, and purple cross hatches? Well, uh, looks like this region does. What about the region with two in it? That looks like it has blue, but doesn't have red. Has purple, doesn't have red. Okay, what about the section with one in it? Looks like that just has purple. No, it just has blue. What about the section with four in it? Looks like it's got blue, looks like it's got red, doesn't have purple. Okay, so just this region here. So what is there? Let's erase a little bit and see what's in there. It's a five, okay? So that would be five, okay? So that's pretty much uh, that section. All right, now, uh, last one for this page. Uh, we're only going to do um, the A, C, E, and G. For the Venn diagram, in question three, list the elements of, okay, so we're back to this Venn diagram here, okay? Um, A intersect B union C. So B union C would be um, B union C. B union C would be B union C. Okay, and I think that would be better if I did it with a highlighter. So B union C, and then I'm going to intersect it with A. Intersect it with A. So A is here. Now what regions have both green and red? Okay, um, looks like... <clears throat> That would be this lip colored region here. So let's see what's in there. It'd be two, one, and four. So for this one, we'd want two, one, and four. Okay? Now the next one is um, A union B complement. So let's see. A would be here. And we're gonna we're gonna combine that with not B. So it's A union not B. So anything in A, and I think I'll do this with um, with a highlighter. So anything in A, and anything that's not in B. Well, not in B is everything outside this ring. So. So basically it looks like a bit cookie. And then uh, we're going to intersect that with C. Intersect that with C. So C is here. Okay. So uh, 
we're going to intersect with C. And what would that leave us? Um, so that would be wherever it's red and pink. So that would be here and here. So which numbers are in there? Uh, it looks like there's a 1. Looks like there's a 7. Looks like there's a 4. Those three, I think. Let's just erase just to make sure. 1, 4, and 7. Yeah, those are the three. All right, now let's do E. Not A, union with not B, parentheses, and then intersect with C. So let's see. We're doing this one now. We're doing this one now. Uh, not A intersect with not B. So not A would intersect with not B would be, let's see, not A would be like this. Okay. And then not B, which we're going to union it with, is everything outside of this circle. So what are you left with? You're just left with, um, well, you, you just include everything except for the fish, right? The fish with 1 and 2 in it. Now we're going to intersect this region with C. If we're going to intersect with C, then we'll take C. Now, which of the regions have red cross-hatching and green shading? Well, it looks like we got, um, I'll outline it in purple. No, I'll outline it in uh, black. Okay, so gray, green and red would be this Pac-Man shaped thing here. Okay, and what um, what are the numbers in the set? Well, there's a 7, there's a 3, there's a 4. Looks like that's it. We'll erase just to make sure. Yep, 7, 3, and 4. Okay, and now we're going to go to the last one, which is that one. B intersect with not A, union with not C. So let's first mark not A, union, not C. So not A would be everything outside this circle. And we're going to union that with not C, uh, which has everything outside this circle. And so now we have everything except for the little fish with 1 and 4 in it. Okay, and then we're going to, we're going to, intersect it with B. If we intersect this green region with B, let's uh, circle B and do cross hatching. Okay, so and then like what is has both red cross hatching and green shading? I'm going to circle it in black. It would be this Pac-Man here, right? That region. The only thing not covered is that little uh, triangle in the middle. So let's see what numbers are there. It looks like 2 and 6. Oh, it looks like there's 3 also. 2, 6, and 3. 2, 6, and 3. Okay. So that's it for that one.